The man convicted of killing Angie Dodge stood before a Bonneville County judge today. Christopher Tapp enters the courtroom right here as attorneys made their arguments on a motion of summary of dismissal for one of his petitions of post-conviction relief. Eyewitness News reporter Chelsea Brenzel was there in the courtroom today. Chelsea, uh, looking at that, were there, were there a lot of people in the courtroom? Todd, it was a packed house, but not a lot happened today as the Judge Stevens did not make a decision for the motion for dismissal. Because it's wrong, and I told Chris that I'm going to get him up before I graduate. That's a plea of many who were out protesting this morning. Before the hearing, some held signs outside of the courthouse, most of them saying, Free Chris Tapp. The post conviction relief petition in question surrounds whether or not Tapp's defense received all polygraph tapes before the trial. The state argued that there is no proof that they weren't. Tapp's mother, Vera, also showed up to show her support. She says something needs to be done. Christopher's innocent, and everybody has seen that. And what is it going to take for people to wake up? You know, the justice system to wake up and realize that they made a mistake. I don't care if they apologize to me or they apologize to Christopher. Just let him come home. You know, that's all we're asking for. Let him come home. There is no indication as to when ju the judge will rule on the latest motion. In the studio, I'm Chelsea Brensel. Okay, Chelsea, thanks for that update. Now, join us tonight on Fox 5 at 9 o'clock and Channel 3 at 10. We will hear more from Vera Tapp as well as Carol.